Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I'm here to talk about RFID tags and passports. What do you need to be worried about people snooping with RFID scanners and grabbing your passport information? Now, we've got in our family here, two of us have passports that don't have RFID and two have passports that do. Let me show you the difference so you can know for yourself about your passport. Here are the passports, one of each. Do you notice the difference? It's the symbol down here. If you see that on your passport, there's an RFID tag inside of it. And you can also tell, well, if, if you have other passports to compare it to, this um, RFID passport is much less flexible than the older one. The older passports are very flexible. You can do all kinds of things with them because the, the material that the, the front and back are made out of is just some kind of a fabric -y material. The new ones, though, they don't like to bend. Now, that's not only because the RFID chip is in here. It's pretty small, and uh, from feeling around on it, I suspect it's in the bottom half of the front. There seems to be something bumpy in there. But what they've done is they've actually made the material of the cover front and back to block the, uh, the RFID so that you don't have to worry about it so long as your passport is closed. Nobody's going to be activating your RFID chip to get any information out of it. When you open your passport, that of course allows the person at passport control to, their RFID scanner will activate the chip and then you, they get the information. So the next question is, what information is stored in the RFID tag in your passport? People have these nightmare images of it being, oh my gosh, all my information, my name, my address, phone number, whatever the government knows about me is all stored in that. If somebody scans this, they're going to have all that information about me. Not even close to the real story. What's stored in this RFID tag is a code. Just the code number, that's it. I don't know if it's 25 digits, 100 digits, how long it is, but it's a code. And that code when entered into the government server by a government employee with his own security code and information, that does access a database that will bring up all that personal information that you're so worried about. And I don't know how much information the government may have on you, but that's where it is. And when, they, when this code goes into that, it brings up for the passport control person a screen with the picture of you. So, you know, you know, in those old movies where they would cut the picture out of the passport and put the other one in real carefully, well, those days that's not going to work anymore because they've got your picture in the database. And they have other information about you, you know, address. I don't know what all they have in there, but I do know they sometimes ask questions that seem a little bit odd when they're trying to, if they want to double check your identity. And um, I'm guessing they have all the answers to the questions there. That's why they ask you. But I don't know that for a fact. Anyhow, the code number that's stored in the RFID tag lets them access the database and bring up all your information. So just having this code number is really worthless. It, it's not going to help anybody out. It's not going to help somebody create a, a fake passport for themselves that's going to work. Now, in addition to that, the code number that's stored in the RFID tag is uh, encrypted which means it's scrambled. So even if you have your RFID scanner and you get close enough and this happens to be open at the time and you get a number out of it, that's not even the number that works in the system to bring up your information. So there's multiple layers of security here. The first one is nobody can get the RFID information so long as you keep your passport closed, which is how most people travel with the passport closed. Next, the number that's on the chip is scrambled, so they'd have to be able to descramble it to get a number that would, could be used for anything. And then lastly, the number that they do get by itself is worth nothing. They'd have to have access as a government employee to the government machines and the password and the whole deal to get in to bring up your information with that code from the RFID tag. So I know it's all the rage now, these um, passport carrying cases that have the built-in RFID protection so nobody can get your RFID tag info out of your passport. But you don't need that. You already, they were nice enough to build that into the passport itself. So really, you don't need to spend your money on that. Now, if you're concerned about RFID tags and credit cards, well, I've made a separate video about that. I'll put a link up over here if you want to go and watch that and see what the story is with credit cards and RFID tags. I'll give you a hint. Mostly the same, but it's not quite the same. And they make a variety of things that you can buy for RFID protection with your credit cards as well. But go take a look. See what you think. But don't too hastily go out and spend the money on these things that really aren't something that you need.